Hi YouTube and this is JTrain997 and I'm back this time with my review of the Iron Man 2 Toys R Us exclusive The Fury of Combat 4 pack. Now um, I had no idea this was coming out and I was really excited to find it in stores because not only do we get our first chance to buy the Iron Man 2 drone figures, which you get two of the ground assault drones in this pack, you also get an extra Mark VI, which I'm believing, which I believe is just a reissue from the standard line. I never bought one, so that's a win for me. We also get the Nick Fury figure, which I heard was going to get a um, single carded figure in the Iron Man 2 line, but still haven't heard anything about when he's going to be released. You can see he comes with a gun. The drones both come with their shoulder cannons and their um, interchangeable arm weapons. I don't see any kind of bases in there. I'm really hoping they all come with their little Iron Man 2 bases. I can live without the armor cards, but I really want those bases to be in here. Um, of course, you can see the packaging over here. You've got a picture of Fury on the back of the box here. Of course, it does say interchangeable weapons. And it says, as commander of the world's most powerful and secret spy organization, Nick Fury tries not to get directly involved in combat. Still, there's always a time to make an exception. Iron Man is the centerpiece of all his carefully laid plans, so Fury has no reservations about jumping right into the fight. And of course, over here it has the helmet, the Mark VI Red Vortex, and the Series 1 of figures. Of course, over here you've got a picture of Iron Man and the drones. So, really excited to finally have these guys. Let's pull these bad boys out of the packaging. And first up here, we're going to be having a look at the Justin Hammer drones, or the ground assault drones, I believe the bots called them. And um, as you can see here, they actually have these flaps that deploy off the side of their foot to keep them stable, I guess, like if they were going to use their shoulder cannon. Um, that's actually really handy because um, this set does not come with any base for any figure. But even without them, as you can see over here, the figure has no problem standing. Um, speaking of which, I'm going to put one of these guys off to the side here just so I can focus on one. Now, they do say they have interchangeable weapons, but I cannot figure that out for the life of me. I'm going to fold the flaps up here on the side. Um, the most I can get is the arm panel to come off. I can't figure out how to get the actual weapons off or swap them out. Um, at least, I don't want to risk breaking them. They all seem to be on there pretty good. But that's definitely not a loss, in my opinion, because they um they just look cool up the way they are. Oh, also, if you don't like these flaps, because sometimes they do get a little loose and they fall over when you don't mean for them to, you can just pop them off the peg. Of course, the backpack here, which has a lot of nice little detail in it. Of course, you can see the shells back here like they would feed up into the cannon. Um, you just simply pop it off if you don't want it on. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but in the movie, I thought these were like just like straight down on their backpack and they fold it up and like into targeting position. These can go straight down or up or come completely off the backpack because um, once again it's just like the flaps, it's just a little peg. Um, but they can't actually go back on, like back straight up on the backpack, which is, um, I don't know, I seem to recall them doing that in the movie. haven't seen it in a while, but still. So that's unfortunate, but if you don't like the look of it, you can always just pull it off. Um, let's actually go into the overall detail of this guy, which, let's zoom in here. Of course, he's got the American flag, a lot of really nice detail. Just all down. Um, this is definitely one of the best looking figures out of the Iron Man 2 line. And once again, let's get a zoom in on that little backpack attachment. I really like how they've got the shells feeding up into it. As for his articulation, let's pull the backpack off for this part. His head goes left and right as well as up and down. Would do a full 360, but the way his um, collar is coming up is hindering it. Arms go out to here, do a full 360. Bend at the elbow, and looks like that's about it. Um, have a torso, well, admin joint. Do a full 360, tiny bit stiff, up and down. Same for both arms. His legs go out. Don't really go forward and back. Um, looks like they would, but once again, the panels are kind of hindering him. Bend at the knee and have an ankle joint. So these drones are really awesome. Um, I'm definitely glad we got a chance to buy these because once again, I think... Um, I know it's before the end of the year, but I know we still have a bit of a wait for these guys. But we are going to get all um, three types of drones when they finally come out. So that being said, these guys are awesome. Let's move on to the next figure. And next up, we're going to be having a look at Iron Man and the Mark VI. Um, now, while I bought a, quite a few of the Iron Man 2 line, um, the only movie lot series line I bought, I bought pr um, plenty of the comic series line, I bought a few of the concept series. 
The only movie one I bought was um The War Machine and the Mark V. So um, this is my first Mark VI. I know there's two or three variations on it. Um, but a very solid figure. Definitely a very nice, bright, glossy paint. Let's get a full 360. Definitely some nice detail all done. It's actually getting posed here. Um, and he does stand really solidly to, um, well, kind of disproving my point there. But most of the time, he's standing pretty solidly despite not having his base. So let's pick the camera up here. Pan in. See a lot of really nice detail down him. Of course, he does have a little bit of blue paint above his eye there, but I can overlook that. Of course, his core and, well, his arc reactor. A really nice looking figure as far as articulation. His head does a full 360. Some up and down. Arms go out to here. Do a full 360. Bend at the elbow. And spin. And have a wrist joint. Um, his abdomen does a full 360 as well. Up and down. Of course, same for both arms if I didn't already mention. His legs a little bit stiff. Goes a little bit forward and back. Goes out. Double joint at the knee and has an ankle joint. So I'm um, overall a very solid figure. Um, I'm positive this is a repaint of one of the Mark Sixes from the line. Um, don't think there's any tweaking at all unless they've just slightly upgraded the paint. But that being said, he's still a great figure. And seeing as I don't have one, didn't have one already, glad to have this guy. And that being said, let's move on to the final figure. And here we have Nick Fury out of packaging holding his gun. Um, while he does have this gun in his that came in his hand already, um, the one in his holster is permanently in there, and there's not another holster on him, so this gun can either stand in his hand or, like me, I'm going to throw it in a spare parts bin and get him a better gun from the G.I. Joe line. But a very nice-looking figure, if not... I'm not crazy about this coat. Um, it's alright looking, actually. I've seen a lot of poor attempts at coats in um, toy lines, but... Overall, it's just... Eh, I'm not imp incredibly impressed by it. Um, of course, it is removable if you want it to be. You can see his shoulder holsters and everything there. Of course, um, as far as articulation, he does a full 360 as well as some up and down at the head. His arms go up. Would do a full 360 if he was not wearing the coat. Bend at the elbow and spin at the wrist. His admin movement, of course, once again, would do a full 360 if not hindered by the coat. Up and down. Legs go forward, back, double joint at the knee, and have an ankle joint. So, um... A really nice looking figure. Let's actually get him posed and zoom in on that face. You can see they even, oops, lost focus there for a half second. They even gave him the little scars above his eye patch. So a really nice looking figure overall. Um, I think one of the things that bugs me about the coat is it keeps seeming to want to open up. So I keep trying to get it closed and it just pops back open. I'm um, not crazy about his weapon. But once again, I'm a huge G.I. Joe fan, so I've got buckets of just little guns that I haven't got any figure holding, so no problem for me there. That being said, let's go on to a final thoughts on the entire set. And here we have all four figures, and um, you can get a size comparison of Iron Man or Nick Fury to, in comparison to the Justin Hammer drones, or once again, ground assault drones. Um, so a great set. I'm absolutely loving these drones. I was surprised by the Mark VI, and while I'm not crazy about Fury's code overall, he's a solid figure, and I'm really glad to have him. So... The one thing about this set, 27 bucks. Now, that is a fair price. Um, still feels a little bit steep when you're paying it. I used one of those um, $5 off Iron Man coupons that come with the other toys, and after tax, it can end up being like 24 bucks. Um, still, a great set. Your only chance to get the drones or Nick Fury right now. You get an extra Mark VI to throw in there to do whatever you want with. A fantastic set. I absolutely recommend it. This is JTrain997 saying I'll see you soon, YouTube.